Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. I am Fiery Red Hair Wait, and let's continue helping Koopa Koop with his favors. Oh, what luck. You came at the perfect time. Alright, what's your favor? If you find the time, I really do have a craving for a tasty tonic. Most shops sell it. It's my all-time favorite drink. It really clears out the old beak. Yes, indeed. Fetch me a cold one, would you? I'm parched over here. I have a word... If you I have your word, young fella? Well, I already went and got it. It's in Harry's shop, so... Pouring piranhas! You're like a psychic, Mario! This is exactly what I wanted. As a gesture of my gratitude and generosity, take this. And we just get another coin. Not a big deal. The next favor takes a little bit, but it's not too big of a deal. We can do it. Alright. I've heard through the grapevine that there's a beautiful fortune teller living on Shooting Star Summit. So, if you would... I want you to hike up there and ask her for an autograph. I'm too shy. Run along for me now. I can barely wait. You promise to hurry? Dude, you don't even let us say yes or no. But then again, you say yes as a favor, so... But, actually on the way up there, instead of cutting, I'm going to show you something else that you can do now so you'll save time later. Because, like, I'm going to try to get items before he asks, so that way it's not... Oh, I'm going to go get it, then I'm going to come back. It's just, you know... I try to keep the cutting to a minimum. But right now, if you go up to towards Shooting Star Summit, on the way you want to stop by Merlon's house because there's a bulletin up here and there's Chuck Quizmo again. So let's go ahead and get a star piece. What's your question? How many members are there in Goombario's family? Oh shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, because I was including Gabario, so I was like, don't trick me and say five. So we get a star piece for that. Nine questions? Alright. I'm just going to answer him whenever I see him. Otherwise, like I said, I the guide's in the other episode. So, I, re I really think it sucks that he only appears so often. I think he should appear more often than he does. Or at least how he was programmed to, to, to appear. Okay. Let's pass the purple grass and hear the lovely, sleepy, yet romantic Shooting Star Summit music. I just love this track so much. And there is pretty more lovely. Okay, stop flirting. This is about as a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune red, talk to me over the counter. I don't want my fortune red. Excuse me? You want my autograph? My, my. Mercy. Are you sure it's mine you want? You really do? Well, this is a first. What shall I do? Ah, of course. I don't mean to be a stick in the mud, but I'll give you the autograph on one condition. A small favor. I want you to visit my twin sister and fetch a crystal ball from her. She lives in a back alley in Dry Dry Outpost. Her name is Merle. Well, we already know who she is. Well, Mario, would you? Well, I guess we have no choice, and I don't think you're a twin because your hair is different. But then again, we can't see your face. And of course, I mean, the game doesn't know... Well, I mean, it knows what chapter you're on, but this was unlocked, I believe, when chapter with chapter 2. So you may, you might not have seen Merle yet. But I'm going to cut to Merle to get the crystal ball, so be right back. And of course, I totally forgot to read the bulletin board because of Chuck Quizmo, so Chuck Quizmo, you fail. Toad Town News. Shiver Sensation. Mario Masters Crystal Palace. Mario went to the Shiver region to look for the last star spirit and discover the legendary Crystal Palace at the top of Shiver Mountain. This palace is said to have been built to, and dedicated to the star spirits. Bowser's evil followers, however, had taken it over. Mario put those goons on ice and saved the last star spirit. Now, with all the star spirits together, they're on their way to Shooting Star Summit. It's finally time to head for Bowser's castle. Good luck, Mario! And on the back here, don't miss this. Stars! It's a heart! Now I can draw a note! I love scribbling. A little toad. Yeah. Really? You wouldn't need to read that, but it is for... I'm gonna spoil it, but it's another favor that Koopa Koot's gonna ask you. He's gonna want you to read the news. So, I figure let's just read it on the way so we don't have to make an extra trip back to Toad Town. I know, I'm lazy. But, 
I will cut back to Dry Dry Outpost. All right, we are back in Dry Dry Outpost to see Merle. My older sister, Mer Lovely. What's she want? Oh, I see. Is that so? I bet I know. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Please give this to Mer Lovely with love from her sister Merle. Okay. You must have a ton of these if you're just so willing to give her one. And... Hmm, do I really want to do this right now? Well, no, we're going to come back to Dry Dry Outpost anyway, so I'll do that later. I won't say what that is, because that is way, way later in the favor list. So, yeah, let's not leave the sewers, at least not that way. Wait, what am I doing? I'm so stupid. Yeah, don't give him the crystal ball. He wants the autograph. So, back to Star Haven, or Shooting Star Summit. Jeez. Okay, we are back at... Merle and Merlot's house. So let's give her this crystal ball and get her autograph. Ah, my my. Hello there, Mario. Okay, stop flirting and here's your ball. Oh, mercy, thank you. I'll cherish this. And for you, here is my autograph, as promised. It'll be valuable someday. Well, we don't want it. Because we don't like you. But Koopa Coot likes you, so... I don't know how you take that. But let's go back to give him the autograph. Be right back. Okay, guys. Let's give him her autograph. Jumpin' Jungle Fuzzies. You're peerless, Mario. My word. Good gracious. Oh. Oh, my. What beautiful handwriting. Be still, my heart. Oh, that is. This will be the heart of my collection. You're a stand-up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. This time I'll give you this special gift as thanks. Whenever he says that, you can know that he's going to give you three star pieces. And let's not leave. Jeez, Mario. The next favor? I'm not quite as mobile as I was in my salad days, and as a result, I feel like I'm losing touch for the outside world. A newspaper would be the best way for me to catch up, no? But there's no newspaper in Toad Town. Would you mind reading the Toad Town news for me? You could tell me the news then. My eyes aren't so good, see? Don't spare the juicy gossip either. I'm all ears. Hurry up if you can. I'm losing touch here. Promise me you will? Well, it's not really a newspaper, but the bulletin board that we read, that's what he wants to hear. Come again, Sonny? Are you saying you... What? No. I read it. What the hell? Here I am trying to save time, and I gotta go back and read it again. That's stupid. Because there's other things that I've done ahead of time, and it doesn't make any damn difference. Well, I feel stupid. Oh, well, it's, it's not too far, so we can go back and get it. But, man, I tell you what. These favors make me feel think of Animal Crossing, the GameCube version. Because those of you who have played have know that sometimes those favors, it's like, oh my god. Going all over town just to do one little thing. Alright, we've already read this, so, yeah. Alright, now if that doesn't work this time, I'm going to get pissed. Because <laughs> I did it, I, I did that. And it was a pretty simple favor. So much for saving time, right? <laughs> oh well. Go back in there. Jeez. Like I said, thankfully it's not too far of a hike anyway. Okay. Now will it? W now will you listen? Creeping crazy daisies! You're pure class, Mario. Ah, so that's what's going on in the world. I'm not sure I believe all those wild tales, but I suppose if you say so. It's nice to catch up on the current lingo. I've had a hard time understanding youngsters lately. Now I'm hip. <laughs> Why don't you take this for helping me? Okay, we'll take our coin and go. Now, okay. Last favor for this episode isn't too hard because it was already in my inventory, so I didn't have to go buy one. I've been ailing a bit lately. I'd like to get a life shroom, you know, to keep on hand just in case of an emergency. I must have one. I must. Please, please find one for me. You should be able to find one at select shops. Please hurry. I'm not feeling well at all. You promise to return? Well, since I already took one out for the Crystal King but never needed to use it... Here. 
Oh, by the musty shroom! You're a peach, Mario. Yeah, like that wasn't put in there on purpose. I feel ten times better and twenty years younger. Maybe I'll go jog after my nap. Here, take this as thanks. Oh, you don't have to be so polite. Okay, I can stop reading that. Hey, by the way, do you, have you ever been going to the playroom? We did once. I found this old thing since the last time I saw you. Have a look, a gold credit. They gave this to me at the playroom since I was such a frequent visitor. You can have it now. Good luck, make money. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, we'll probably check that out after his favors are done. But we are going to go ahead and continue the favors in the next episodes. Peace out.